Hello once again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the kind of content of our micro lectures. This one's going to be on speed and velocity. The technical definitions, I know we've already kind of defined them um, just more with words and ideas. This time we're going to focus on the actual equations as well as what those equations mean as defined more traditionally. Remember this is a micro lecture so it's going to be one to three or four minutes tops. Uh, but you still need to do three bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary and the follow-up questions on Google Form. All right, let's get started. Uh, oh, and last but not least, or last but not least, remember the objectives are up here in the top left corner. So, the technical definition of speed, if we're talking about this roller coaster car that's kind of coming out, looks like an indie car, I know, but it's a roller coaster. We can see that down there. And we talk about its speed. Um, in order to do that, the technical definition is the rate of distance per unit time. What that means is distance per is a fraction bar, and then time would be given by variable t, which brings us to the equation for speed, which is the following. We use the letter v, or the variable v, for the speed. Um, the units are meters per second. We prefer the exponent notation like this as opposed to the kind of fraction notation, but we'll still accept fraction notation. To calculate it, you're going to take distance, divide it by time, um, or d divided by t, and that gives you your speed in this case. Now if we want to instead talk about velocity, it's going to be very similar, uh, since speed is essentially how fast you're going and velocity is the same thing, but add direction, we can already kind of guess where that's going to go. Which brings us to the technical definition of velocity is the rate of displacement per unit time. So again, d for displacement, similar to distance, but we'll still call it d. Per is given by the fraction bar, um, that tells us it's a rate, and then time is t. So this leads us to our equation, which is going to be very similar. Still the same variable, so you can use one for both of them. Um, still the same units, meters per second in this case. But in this case, when you calculate it, you need to remember that d stands for displacement, not t uh, distance. Uh, but you're still doing displacement divided by time. Don't forget that you need to include the direction in some way, shape, or form, and I'll talk about more on that in one slide. So let's talk about that a little more in a second. In this case, uh, if we want to do a quick comparison, speed is just a number with units, such as 2.5 meters per second. Velocity is the number plus the direction, so 2.5 meters per second, but you need to include the idea of north. If you're calculating them, speed is based on distance, whereas velocity is based on displacement. Meaning, if you aren't taking the shortest path, then velocity has to account for that to some degree. Uh, in other words, velocity may not always equal the speed in this case. One last thing, um, to represent direction, we can use positive or negative. So since speed doesn't have a direction, it's always positive. It never really matters what direction it's in because it's irrespective of direction. Meaning, um, it's a scalar, direction doesn't matter. With velocity, if you want to define, let's say, to the right as positive and to the left as negative, then you don't have to write that the velocity is to the right or to the left. You can just say it's positive or negative and then give the number, and that will define it as having a direction already. That's it for this micro lecture. Remember, three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and then you need to do the follow-up questions on Google Forms.